In today's video, we're talking about website monetization. This is a really interesting topic. I'm going to go through some of the methods that I recommend and what's worked for me in the past. So mainly, we're going to be talking about running ads, doing affiliate marketing and digital products. So if all this sounds interesting, then keep watching. All right, the first method we'll talk about is running ads. So there's really two ad networks that you want to think about when you're first getting started. The first one, Google AdSense, and the second one, Ezoic. So both of these are good when you're starting out because they don't have minimum traffic requirements. There's lots of different ad networks, but most of them require you to have a lot of traffic before you can actually um, get a successful application. So Google AdSense and Ezoic. Ezoic recently changed. They used to require you to have 10,000 page views per month, but now you can apply um, at any level of traffic. So Ezoic is quite good in that regard now. Basically, the way ads work is you install them on your website and you'll end up serving these kind of ads to your visitors. When they come to your site, they'll get served um, targeted advertising based on their previous browsing history um, and that kind of thing. So in this case, I think my wife's been looking at homeware, so I'm seeing some homeware ads on here. So that's a targeted advertising from Ozoic. So what can you expect in terms of actual revenue? So they use a concept called RPM, which is rate per meal. So that's basically per 1,000 impressions, how much revenue you can generate. So on average, you can expect $10 to $40 on average for 1,000 page views. So if your blog is getting 10,000 page views a month, you might be around $250 to $300 a month just based on your ads. So um, can be a pretty solid source of revenue. I think Ezoic is slightly better than AdSense from what I've seen. I've seen a couple of case studies studies here where um, Google AdSense was getting them only around $35 and Azoic uh, boosted their revenue up to $200. That's obviously an extreme case. I think you can't expect that much increase compared to um, Azoic and AdSense. But here's another example here. I think this is a bit more realistic. They went from around $37 to um, $114. Again, I think this is a, actually a big jump. That actually looks like a big 3x increase. I think most people are talking about between 50 and 100% increase, not 300% increase like we've got here. Obviously, the reason why people were swapping away from Google AdSense to Ezoic is a lot of people who were not previously eligible to use Ezoic are now eligible once they remove that 10,000 um, 10, page views per month minimum. Um, a lot of people who were using Google AdSense suddenly became eligible for Ezoic ads. And that was only um, earlier this year. So it hasn't been around for that many months, but um, a lot of people who've switched over have noticed a good increase in their uh, revenue from ads. So in conclusion with ads, I think this is probably the most simple monetization process for a blog. Um, it just means you have to be productive in terms of putting out good quality content on a regular basis. I think in my previous video, I talked about getting 40 to 50 good high quality posts to get some solid traffic to a blog like this, and then you'll see some, some decent income. So I think let's just talk about productivity for a second. So when it comes to your productivity, the most important skill to optimize is your time management. So this is a perfect chance to talk about today's sponsor, Rise. In my own content creation, it's really important for me to understand how I manage my time in terms of testing, research, shooting video, editing, and documenting. So Rise is very helpful in this respect. Rise is an intelligent time tracker that improves your focus and helps you build better work habits. Rise automatically tracks and categorizes your activities in real time. As we can see here, we can see our day broken into sections based on doing video conferencing, documenting, and email. So you can see where your time has gone and helps you organize things more effectively and improve your focus. Try Rise for free and maximize your productivity. The first 1,000 people to sign up using my code IDEASPOT or by using the link in my description will get 25% off their first three months. So check that one out if you're interested and let's get back to our tutorial. All right, now the second one I want to talk about, the method is affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing is probably my favorite one. I think a lot of people think about um, Amazon. Amazon Associates is Amazon's affiliate marketing program. This is probably the biggest one in the world. Uh, they obviously do tons of revenue through amazon.com and it's really easy to make sales because people are going to buy things from Amazon regardless. So um, the, the downside with Amazon is that the commission rates are quite low, between 1% and 10%, depending on the products, for example. Um, some homeware and um, kitchenware is like 8 or 10%. And then electronics, uh, video game hardware is only 1%. So depending on what you're marketing, you'll get a small commission. Um, we'll go back to our example here. The good thing about that is they're running ads, but they're also, this, this blog is about 
Harry Potter products and each of these products has an Amazon link as well. So besides running ads, they're also using Amazon affiliates on this blog. So combining revenue streams is obviously the optimal way of doing things. So um, you're combining, in this case, we're combining books um, with ads. So you're getting ad, ad revenue plus affiliate revenue. So Amazon is the obvious one, but my personal favorite is one called impact.com and another one called cj.com. So both of these have been much more successful for me than, than Amazon associates. Um, impact.com has some really awesome brands here. You can see Adidas, eBay, um, DoorDash, lots of really cool uh, brands that do quite high ticket items as well. So when you get commissions, um, you get a high, a high amount of, um, of revenue. And some of these offer much more than those Amazon rates. A lot of these will give you 30, 40, 50% of the revenue, especially when some of these are virtual products where you can get quite high margins on these products. So impact.com and uh, cj.com, I really quite like these two. I think CJ has some really huge... Uh, mainstream brands here as well, where people are, are going to spend their money at the, through these brands anyway. So if you can refer them through your links, then it, it's quite an easy way of monetizing your website. And besides those two, there is also Share Sale and ClickBank. They don't have as um, high profile brands as the Impact or CJ, but these do have quite high converting products that give you quite high margins. So things like um, weight loss, health, those kind of uh, beauty niches where you can get quite high margins. But uh, you do have to be quite careful in some of these because some of these niches can be a bit spammy and difficult to succeed in, but they're worth a look as well. So when it comes to managing affiliate links on your blog, I really like this uh, plugin called Pretty Links. So this one makes uh, your links look much nicer and links it to your own URL so it looks really tidy. Um, definitely recommend using this plugin. It's completely free on the WordPress org repository. Lots of people use it, obviously. Um, so definitely check that one out. I've done a previous video as well. I'll link to that one in the description, but uh, check out Pretty Links. Affiliate marketing, I think it's really one of the best ways of monetizing a website. And it does require a bit more skill than just running ads. ads Ads just you just need traffic and then the viewers will see ads and you'll get revenue. Um, affiliate marketing does require a little bit more skill. The, the ability to turn traffic into sales is something that you'll learn as you progress with affiliate marketing, but it's really worth uh, the effort because the rewards are much better than ads generally. And of course, you can always combine ads and affiliate marketing together. They go well, um, as we saw in our example previously. And finally, the third method I'd like to touch on is digital products. So digital products are a great way of adding something uh, tangible to your blog that you can give to your readers for a small price. So a plugin like Easy Digital Downloads can do something like this, or WooCommerce can actually do it as well. I'll give you an example here. So on Dirt Bike Planet, this is the guys who uh, run Income School. That's a really another good YouTube channel to check out if you're interested in monetizing blogs. Um, over here, they've got their blog, but they've also got this thing called Garage Manual, which is basically just a PDF that you can download for around $15. So this is a nice little supplementary piece of income that they use besides doing um, affiliate marketing and ad revenue. So uh, you can add something like that onto your website fairly easily. I mean, if you've already done 20 or 30 posts, you can probably condense that into a nice short little ebook that you can give to people um, for, a, for a marginal price there. So that's what they've done. Don't expect this to exceed your or um, ad revenue or your affiliate marketing. This is sort of like a supplement that might give you an extra five or 10% um, with something simple like that. The other thing you could do is adding a course. So you can add a paid course to your site. Something like Tutor LMS is a good one. Um, Learn Dash is really great as well. I've got tutorials on the channel for both of these plugins. So you basically put together a course that's related to the niche that you are focused on. For example, if you were doing search engine optimization, you could do an SEO course and sell that through your site. The other great way to market a course is through a sales funnel. You see this a lot in things like um, SEO, drop shipping, crypto, those kind of niches where um, you get a free course at the start where you get the basics and then they'll give you the access to more advanced content that'll be paid content. So that's a way of increasing your revenue progressively as people go through your content. But you really need a big audience and a trusted brand before you can look at that sort of marketing. That's a much more advanced skill than um, ads and affiliate income where um, it's much more accessible. I think I'd probably start with something more simple like a, um, an ebook at first and see if you can convert sales on that before you start spending a lot of effort putting together a course. But I think for most people, start with ads. 
move on to affiliate marketing and then look at the more advanced side of things later. So that pretty much wraps it up. Those are the three things I'd focus on. Start with ads, affiliate marketing, and then move on to looking at digital products, even physical products. You could look at drop shipping or print on demand as well. I've done videos on those on the channel too. So check those ones out as well. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.